Okay, and we're finishing up the last sample print there that's uh, on the memory card that it comes with. We have right here the AlphaWise U20 3D printer, and uh, this thing was just a breeze to set up. As far as getting everything out of the box and, and, and putting it together, I, I think, you know, 9 out of 10 as far as ease of use. I mean, obviously, if it came out all ready to go like one of these little small guys, you know, these ones kind of just pop out and are ready. But, but you know, anyway, this, this thing came out really, really quickly, and, and, and as other than adjusting the bed, it didn't take any time at all to get it to go and start printing really high quality prints. So I'm very, very uh, happy with this printer right now. If you're wondering the size of it, it's 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter on the bot on the base, and then of course the height is 400 millimeters. So you can do these really, really you know tall vases, ones like this right here, which are you know actually much shorter than what you can do there. <laughs> you can do a lot, a lot taller. Anyway, so since I've got the printer going, all I've done is gone through the memory card and printed each of the test prints. And as you can kind of see over here, uh, you know the angle print did just fine. The actual retraction test did pretty darn well, and even the words on the bottom came out, which is pretty cool. Uh, the owls worked pretty well, except you'll notice on the owls, I had one layer that kind of didn't come out quite right. So there's one layer where we had a mess up. Of course, right here we have this other test where some of the pieces come through, and then of course the, the closer it gets on these ones, the point two and the point three, it's, it's too much, it's too close. Uh, anyway, you've got also right here on the AlphaWise U20, you have a uh, touch screen. So this is unlike any other 3D printer that I've used, having an actual touch screen to move things. I can pause it, I can end it, I can adjust the print right here just by touching the little uh, LCD screen that's on here. And not only does it have a touch screen, but it also has, of course, a filament detector. So if you're running out of filament at any point in time, and you're not around after it's been printing for hours and hours and hours, it actually stops. It stops printing and pauses and uh, it allows you to come over and add more filament to continue your print. That way you don't have any failed prints, uh, any wasted filament, and no pulling your hair out. So I really think that having a filament detector on all 3D printers is just a big plus. Um, I, like I said, the only thing I had to do with this guy other than get it out of the box and plug it in was I made sure to go to the side and flip it to, I'm um, here in America, to 110 volts. So uh, 110 volts there on the side. And obviously you've got to connect these plugins right here uh, into the motors and it's very simple to do that if you can't remember which motor is X and which one is Y uh, By the way uh, this motor over here the motor that's going across back and forth This is the X motor and this is the Y motor. Okay, so if you can't remember It's okay because you just have to simply like look for the extruder all the time The extruder cable always has the proper motor next to it, which is obviously like I said this one right here the X motor so once you get those cables ready to go, you can start test printing. Um, getting the, the level just right didn't take very long. It's actually got a level uh, spot in the actual software. So you can just go into the software, click on level, and it'll tell you each corner. Once you get each corner, you know, about where you want it to be, then you just let it go. And uh, I can actually say the very first print that I did with this guy was this square right here, the very first print I ever did. And I've, I've not had any failed prints at all. The only print that I said that didn't uh, go perfectly was this the Owls one right here. It's on par with the CR-10s. Last time uh, we, we had the bigger AlphaWise printer that I opened up and it was ready to rock right off the bat. So these AlphaWise printers are very similar to like in the CR-10 Mini or the CR-10, uh, the normal one, which has also got the same build size, um, which I have those in the garage right now. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep playing with this AlphaWise, uh, but I want you guys to actually see the the, the printer is made of really high quality parts. Uh, it's got steel brackets everywhere. It even has, of course, your uh, your lead screw or the, you know, it's got the protection right there so it doesn't move around a lot, especially when you get to the taller prints. 
and uh, everything on it. I mean, it's just made out of really high quality. We've got steel down there on the parts, obviously. Nothing's, nothing uh, is plastic. It's all metal. And I think because of that, this printer is going to last quite a while. It also comes with some tack board on there. Underneath the tack board is a plate of glass. So there's the heated bed, the glass, and the tack board on there. Um, the printer is just... So far, it's honestly one of the best printers out of the box that I've used so far. Uh, I'm pretty happy to say that. So if you guys are looking to get a 3D printer and want one that's affordable, right now I know this guy can be found for less than $300. Originally it was close to like $400, so for less than $300, bucks, yeah, great printer right there. Hope you guys enjoy the video or at least some of the montage uh, scenes. Uh, if you have any questions specifically about the printer, please let me know. Uh, it's got information on the SD card when you get it. It's got an SD card that's in the side, and when you plug that into your computer, it has a lot of the specifications, a lot of the information specifically for the printer there. And that's going to allow you to get what you need. So, hope uh, you guys uh, are doing well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.